G'day, Pete Techman Coman here at ISC 2020 in Amsterdam, and I'm on the Lightwear stand with Dwayne Williams from Lightwear. Welcome, Dwayne. Hey, Pete. How are you going? Welcome. Yeah, thank you. Thank <laughs> you. It's great to be here, and I'm a big fan of Lightwear products, as you know. Yes, okay. yes. So you've got some interesting new products. Like I've seen in the past you've had this Cisco integration for a yeah, number yeah, of years probably now, right? three years now yeah. we've been working with Cisco since yep. they opened up their API. Yep. You know, Lightwear's always had an open API yep. and that's what's allowed us to deliver such a close working partnership with them. Okay, so so tell us a little bit more about it. So you have a Cisco room, so you've got yep. a room kit, yeah, Cisco yeah. room kit or something along Our those lines? Our big advantage is working with the uh, Cisco room kit devices, any of their WebEx soundbar systems to be able to expand the number of inputs that are available on the Cisco kit. Sure. Um, extend those inputs to locations like a desk back to the Cisco unit, yep. so over a cat-based system. And uh, we we really like to reinforce and uh, deliver that Cisco message of you know unified operating systems. What you're paying for when you deliver a Cisco platform is their user experience. We want to bring all that back so directly to the touch, touch 10, 10 displays yeah. and make that the. The, the primary and um, the focus of the room integration, the room control solution. So this, this comes standard with, with a room kit, yeah, right? Yeah, well, that's so exactly right. Why not know? utilize Because I've not seen it? many meeting spaces that have a, a room kit, they have a display like yep. this and a uh, touch 10. Yeah, we and think then, that and a lightwear, that, that's a crazy you know, And then scenario. they have a, 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 a touch screen, a secondary touch screen in the room. And, yep. and then the, the client is going, which, which one panel? do you use? Yeah, you know, exactly. and it might be a different. Uh, third-party touchscreen yep. uh, at a different site so you know you might be used to using your system yes. but then you travel and the whole point of VC is to yep. bring that travel um, yep. but not know how to use the, yep. the system at a remote site you know so with Cisco it's one platform um, the user interface is exactly the same but yep. we can then expand on those functions that Cisco offer by using Lightwear switches. Okay, so you're, you integrate with the Touch 10. Yes. And your what happens? It adds buttons to the Touch 10? So it adds 10? buttons yeah. exactly in the way that you would expect to see normal buttons. So this uh, gives us control of, of our AV. So of your switching and your AV. So typically you've got the Touch 10 as just controlling really the video conferencing side of things. Yeah, right? yeah exactly We have right. more than that in a room. And, right? and with Cisco, you have to pay, you know, there's an option for upgrading of the codec. You right. might get more inputs, yes. but those are always still fairly limited in their yes. scope. Yep. We can add multiple inputs up to potentially eight variable inputs to right. a... Uh, basic Cisco codec, either okay. the, the WebEx Mini or even the standard room sure. kit. Okay. Now, in the past, your integration with the Cisco platform has been really limited to a single room. Yep. Right? Yeah, so exactly just right. So, standalone room. So, so control then, of the lights, control of the blinds, yep. those sorts of environments is full integration we can add to the touch. Right. And, but now, you've got a you've got a new product? Yes. Yeah? So, so, we're basically expanding on that capability within the Cisco space to deliver now a multi-room control right. scenario. Still using just a single whiteware device. Okay. Uh, but uh, let me show you, you how it demo? works. Yeah, Essentially, yeah. With, uh, we've got here two codecs, uh, separate uh, conferencing or huddle space here on one side, room B, room A on the other. And, um, and we've got options around control solutions for lighting environments, lights, you know, yeah. lights on, lights off. Um, but when we... So this is a this is your this is our wall. sorry this is our version of a <laughs> yeah. divider yeah, yeah, yeah. normally so, it'd probably be a little a bit little bigger, bigger than a, that right yeah in a presentation environment yes. but yeah. imagine you've got you know five people here doing a meeting yes. five people here yeah. and then you want to open, open up a up room for a room. bigger presentation yeah. space at night okay maybe fifty people what you see is just the, the displays the of same content on both now right? what's yeah. happened is any content that was visible in this room B option is actually migrated across and is available still with bi-directional control on the second room touch 10 display. So, so this becomes the master. Anything. Right? And this one gets locked out. That's locked out or there's yeah. options we can be fully customizable and flexible right. in how we deliver these room So you control. could leave that open as well if you so wanted to. So every yeah. person does, sure. you know, the, okay. every scenario they, they look for something different and we're really flexible in terms of delivering those sorts of results. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so pick an option and yep. you'll see if I share this now, it's content both. from what was originally only available in this room is now shared across the entire presentation right. space. I see. Or from a lightwear control, single lightwear so it's one control box. device. One box solution, no uh, external third-party controller. Right. All the control 
options are built into the single lightware box. So they need a control system. Big advantage for us in that yep. space. It's just the switcher with some smarts in that switching device. And does it auto configure at all? Like and the, the, yeah, the, I think and then, then the important element yep. of how we deliver our solution is the configuration is done through a free lightware uh, software configurator. Right. You can find that on our website, right. um, lightware.com, yep. under support. It's available for any use. There's demonstration examples there. Yep. And that configuration tool is, you know, the real power behind the Lightware solution. And, and I've, I've had a bit of a play with this this tool and it allows you, it's basically a wizard driven yeah, yeah. tool. Yeah, it, right? it actually so gives you a full, boxes, at and, the end of that configuration process, you get a full system schematic right. design that you yeah. can then just remotely deploy or hand out with a, you know, a box drop solution. So you don't need to be a programmer to program this? A hundred percent. It's, it's, it's uh, tick box, nice. you know, Even name your source. <laughs> <laughs> I've taken. A, it's taken me a while to learn, but yeah, yeah, yeah. even even yeah, people like us, humble Australians, yeah. could do it, right? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Right. That's so. fantastic. And uh, so, this is this product available now? So yeah, the the availability for the multi-room environment that's sort of launching with a, a, a firmware upgrade that we've got coming through March. Um, you'll find that the configurator will update online in that time, and but uh, until then. We're still delivering those single room environments and okay. we think that you know, moving forward will be a really flexible solution. And, and what, what are you using for the single room environment? So in single rooms... Because so, um, this, is, this is especially for doing multiple this rooms, This is right? your bigger yeah. environments, yeah. your presentation yeah. but if, spaces. But if I've just got one room or a series of single rooms, yeah. What, what yeah, our, our partners typically, you know, the, the big value proposition is expanding the number of inputs. So yes. our basic level device is a one by four switcher. Okay. Or, so you know, like, I think this device here is our second most popular solution, yep. which is uh, an expansion for uh, a, a four by two matrix. Right. So you've got your dual display output, yep. and it actually allows you to, uh, I think one of the restrictions around Cisco is typically you'll, you'll get your video conferencing head on one side and potentially your presentation on your second display. Yep. We can actually feed any presentation to any display yep. uh, and route the, the conferencing, you know, WebEx meeting to either display through our switching device. And this, well. is, this is all I need? That's all you need. One box solution. So I'm, so I'm thinking this Control is not is overly expensive. It's, it's, it's significantly cheaper I, uh, than uh, upgrading your codex. Yeah, so yeah. I think or the advantage, a control system. Uh, right? or, yeah, yeah. And or putting yeah, in yeah. a control system. Wow. Yeah. Fantastic. So you said this is not available just yet, right? Is uh, there the, so the, the, the single room scenario is 100%. Yes, yep. That's what we've been That's deploying been for the last, last three years. years. Yep. Uh, but with the divisible room scenario, you'll find out more information from Lightware come March. Okay, fantastic. Well, We're really looking forward to it, and I think it, you know, there's been a lot of excitement, especially at this show, from consultants and end user partners Absolutely. about you know, creating that viability of yeah. adding new functionality to their yep. collaboration rooms. Love it, fantastic. And for more information, you can head to lightware.com. Thank you.